Hello, Zinger here, and welcome back to Searching for Rest. Let's see. Let's do the Noble Curse again. And. Let's get me the heal. The Matriarch. That's a different one. I think there are now many um, different bosses that are. No, there's at least three. There's a death on the Gorgon, then the Matriarch. Oh, is that that spider? I think I fought this one. That one was really annoying. Uh, let's see, change to a mirror, not that great. Losing 50% of your max HP gives you two review choices. Uh, Whenever you damage monsters, you have a 5% chance to heal HP equal to the damage dealt. I'll take this. Vampire Fangs. That is such a slow, uh, such a low amount. Give me the damage. And we're back at full health. Heal. Enemies take one damage the first time they strike you. That's the Guardian Angel, chance to not take damage and do two damage to an enemy. Race turn to Claymore. I don't think that's useful. Enemies take a hit when they hit you. Oops. With a sword. Take too fast. That's a lot of bones. Place the dirt grave with the banner. Dirt with the boot. Now take the boot. Shield. Also have twenty percent chance to spawn with less HP. Oh, will the rest? Plus one damage when dark and deal two x damage for the current graveyard. That's an upgrade for the sword. I probably can't take the healing on them. That's a change. So chance of not. Uh, but they can't attack. Um, actually, give me this. Lower the max HP. Especially if you're fighting uh, certain enemies. It might be really useful if they have less. I haven't got his health reduced. Oh, because he attacked me, he can only hit me once. That's why that's useful. To max HP, you one, you strike, deal more damage. It also has weapon expert. By the time you lose power, you gain two more uh, for your blessing. More points. I was paid in the first grave you dig is a dirt. It will reveal all cre uh, across uh, like a lantern. If you have 3 or less HP, then you enter a graveyard, a random dirt will be, uh, be revealed. That doesn't seem that useful. That requires you to be on low health. But yeah, that one ability is really useful at, against the multi-hit enemies. There's a deal damage to a random enemy. That's a memory, so... Prevents your starting blessing by one, that's not that great. 30% chance to just hit an enemy. Give 
you need more healing abilities. Or someone that can speed this up. That would also work. I made that. Yeah, with the normal health, it's kind of hard to get through it. Oh, it's the one with the scythe. And not getting bones from enemies that actually what murdered us. Let's see, buried treasure. Caps out that out that tree. 20% chance to have a lower amount of health. <laughs> we got a wisp. Give me the wisp this time. Does it 2x damage? Upgraded boots to threads, and then memory, keeping skate, replace the dirt with a shade monster. Let's do this. It drops nothing, but it should uh, make it work with our uh, main skill. From one health. Two health. One drop bones. Yeah, we're dead. We start with like six bones and then it doesn't give us any. Yeah, RNG is being an ass. I actually take the uh, two of the hits and then heal to full. This one the run doesn't take too long. So even if we uh, need to restart a few times, not too horrible. When bones spawn, he will obtain them instantly. I'll take this. That's a really nice one. Because that gives you the bones and dirt. If necessary. How do you trigger at the start? Not while you're uh, taking a hit. So you have something that triggers with dirt. Then you can gain a lot. Let's see. Demon Claw. So attacks the one behind it. Now chance to get more bones from, uh, from dirt. Even though it's a really low value, it still works quite well. That's one damage finally. Go to a boot. Healing 4 da times damage in one graveyard, use plus 1, and if possible, exchanges. One power for one max HP. Uh, give me Warrior's Heart. The other one was, is useful, but might not be necessary. Back at full. Yeah, we need to kill four enemies in one uh, graveyard, which is kind of hard to do. Or... We need Demon Claws. That one will be useful. But I'd rather get Demon Claws. So 
tốt ơn đi bông It's set up to 4 damage to the first monster you face before that attacks based on your current HP. Obtaining bones gives you one review chance. Now we're getting this. Bone Breeder's Tomb. Solar Sight is really useful, but I'd rather have this. Let's see. What about the deal for damage in total? I take this as a last resort. It will normally kill me. I'll take that and actually survive. That's a lot of dirt. Closing to the halfway point. At least for our upgrades. Oh, don't trigger that. I think they put a delay in. Prevent you from accidentally clicking. Keeping shade. That's guardian angel, but it's such a low chance. Turn up change. Now give me the sleeping shade. Give me a higher chance of getting monsters. But the sleeping shade doesn't do anything. At least not on damage. Oh, it really is a pain. In a way, we get a lot of bones. We can get a lot of review choices. Plays a ghost with a horror. Of the dirt grave, when dark, heal plus HP again. Oh, that's buried treasure. It can only be run three times. Give me Guardian Angel. That's a survivability. For uh, half a percent per upgrade. That's one, two, three, four percent at this point. So shitty. I need four. Up my health to by one. Kill. Yeah, there it is. Do not change. Every five dirt gives you two points. No, I'm taking this. That creates a shield. So the more bones we have, the more we can counter enemies. Ghost shades. Only we got three. Now I really need bones. Damn it. Killing three monsters in a single grave will reveal a land and grave. No, we're getting solo side. First monster you face will actually take damage. Depending on your health. Sword. Don't trigger it. First one just got destroyed in an instant. Where are the bones? I have an increased chance for bones. Not getting any. With the start of the combat phase, a random monster will take solar side damage if there is one. Place a dirt grave with a bones grave. Now give me celestial judgment.
That was not enough damage. Is that uh, the lower my health is, the more uh, damage that does. Let's see, dirt becomes a lantern. Raymond max HP. Okay, did. What was my damage? Is the issue? I else have killed myself. Oh, we got through. We locked out. Really? And we're dead. Yep, no one in hell to get through that. Only this tomb. That did something. Sacred orb unlocked. Yeah, there's a bunch of these we need. So we need the gift of Zeus. By knowledge. Yeah, so there's still a bunch we don't unlock. Actually, do this. Give me the view choices. Matriarch. Yes, yeah, Spidey. Okay, just not getting any bones at that point is what killed me. And I, I needed this lock. That would have just kept me alive, definitely. Uh, let's see, digging three months in a single graveyard. We're starting blessing, now we're getting dirt spawns. More bones. <laughs> At least chance of ch changing uh, dirt into bones. Damage. Light a vigil. That's a lantern. The bone spawn uh, in instantly obtain it, leaving dirt behind. I'll take this. Oh, that's the review thing. Yeah, we'll soon try to get uh, fights. Parting blessing now triggers twice. Every fifth third, I'll take this. That's uh, every fifth third we can get a heal. Also a review choice. Just like this. So in a way it, it will be a heal every uh, floor. Double trigger. Things do better. Oh that's a reliquary enemy grave. If there's one damage on hit. But drop stretch metal or claymore. Yep. That is a really nice one. You do take damage for getting it. Can be kind of dangerous. Oops. In spade, if the first grave you dig is a third reveal in a cross shape. Good case now spawn enemies. Killing them reveals two monsters in the next graveyard. 
the swords are now seen as monsters. But the problem is that they actually hurt you. Give me heaven spade. Okay, you can kind of force it at this point. Oh, we got a random quarry. Take one hit and we full heal. Still at full. Well, you know, not anymore, but we were still at full. And we're back. Yeah, we have the first uh, layer. We have 3 or less HP when entering a graveyard. A random dirt will be revealed. Place a dirt grave with bones. I'll take this. Straight up one more bones. From the get go. Oh, I actually got the boots. That's a sword. Yeah, that one always gets you the double top uh, version. So in a way it's a cursed chest that just hurts you. But you can always get a buff. I don't want the boots yet. Otherwise we're going too fast. I should trigger the relic quarry. Immediately. Yeah, that might be a problem. We're not even halfway in, and we're already uh, at the last two. Enemies take one damage when they strike you. Upgrade boots to threads. Nope. Take a three months when a single grave advances your starting blessing. Give me the enemies take damage the first time they strike you. If you have multi strike enemies. That's gonna hurt them a lot. Now I don't want to take any boots or the reliquary. There's a high chance I'll just... Yep, we talk auto bomb. Don't give me the threats. So, we only had, oh, that half strength. I'll be amazed if I win this. That's not that great. We won't be able to get any upgrades at this point. These have kind of a decent amount of healing. I need to keep an eye on that, that we also uh, heal from that. This might hurt. Every five Dirt heals you is really nice. Now I don't see the relic quarry. Boots. One, get the bones. That actually healed us a bunch. Eat these. The three damage and the two. Uh, why? 
that doesn't give me uh, bomb energy. That barely keeps us alive. See all the boats. I think that it doesn't kill itself. This is double hit. Oh wait, is that only the first time it hits you? Yeah, I think that's only the first time. That's why. Yeah, we can't immediately kill that thing. Did he lost a bunch? Both heals. Don't know what's inside of this. Another heal. Am yeah, I missing damage? But by using that one attack damage. Actually, gonna hurt. So it's like if that's not a uh, bone with uh, that. The way too reliant on uh, like bone drops. Double trigger. That one. And multi bow. And another full heal. That's a boot. Yeah, we have to immediately pick up bones thing. That ability is too weak. On where's the boots? That one. Now we're kind of on low health. That it is, Spidey! Does the Zabos have more stuff? Even interested, they will the infestation without spawning a spider. That will spawn a spidey. Can do this? Oh, I think we need to uh, take them up. Boots will heal its be instead of giving movement. Just give me all monsters. Oh, they're dead. Yep. Add bones, grave to your graveyard. What's that? All powerful. Use the catacombs without using the power. Upgrades ability vision. Wait. Do I need to do all three? There was Vitality, now there's Violence. The next up is Vision. And we got the Bone Marrow. That could be useful, so we need uh, not take any Vision upgrades. I think that's how that works. 
We just got the, the violence, the vitality we already had. Now we just need the, the vision, and I think that unlocks this new character. But yeah, that's it for this episode, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.